Hi, this is Kathy with Rocks, Fossils, and Minerals Oh My, and today we're going to do rutilated quartz. Rutilated quartz is rutile inside of quartz, and it's those little hairs, but they're actually metal. They're called a rutile, and they're quite interesting. This is a quartz with rutile in it that was packed full so full you can't see where it begins and where it ends but sometimes the quartz is kind of milky so you can't see it all the way through but this side is quite clear and it's beautiful looks like hair and a lot of mythological stories they believed it was hair from the gods or goddess or whomever it might be and that's understandable because it kind of looks that way <laughs> good way to explain it but it's actually rutile which is a metal sometimes copper colored, or in this case, gold colored. And it's from hydrothermal activity. I am not a geologist or a gemologist. I just enjoy rocks in this channel. If you haven't heard before, it's just show and tell. I'm just showing some of the beautiful specimens I have to share them. And if you have any more information that you think anybody might like you can put it in the comments but there's a beautiful piece of rutilated quartz and sometimes they're made into jewelry and this is a gift thank you janine and colin for this beautiful gift and it's been fashioned into a teardrop for like a pendant and you can see the rutile in it my big fat fingers, but you can see the rutile. It's finer hair. I call it hair. It's not hair, but it's a finer rutile. It's more of a silver. And sometimes people have rings, but it's quartz, so it's quite durable. Here's another one. And boy, is it packed. It's packed so well. And remember, I told you the rutile sometimes is copper in color. So did it make the quartz copper, or was the quartz already that darker color and just who knows <laughs> my big question is like the chicken or the egg is it the rutile or the quartz <laughs> but um it's from hydrothermal activity and somehow they join i tried to do my homework but i needed rutile for dummies <laughs> but this one is quite packed full of rutile See the bottom is not shined but or polished excuse me and this is some rutile that's on the outside of it on the outside of the quartz let me zoom in a little bit and you can see it shine but you see the patterns it makes it makes these wonderful little interwoven patterns sometimes it's so pretty See the quartz is just, you can't really see it from that side, but you can see it from this side. It's just interesting, just so interesting. Look at that, some of them more reddish color. But you can see that wonderful little pattern. Here's another quartz with the rutile inside. And then this is not rutile, but I believe tourmaline i had someone told me what it is i could be wrong but it's like a tourmaline inside it's look at that rainbow it's from being fractured on the inside and you get that wonderful rainbow let me zoom back out again you can just see all that you can even see where they cut it some of it Right there, you can 
can see where it's sticking through where they polished it. It's quite interesting, especially from far off. Then you have like the little natural formation of the crystals with the rutile inside of them. The rutile just went everywhere. Look at that on the tip of that one. Wow, it's just growing crazy right there in that little corner. Zoom in a little. You can see sometimes it's outside of the crystals and almost growing from crystal to crystal. It's lighter in some places and more compact in other places. It's the bottom of it. My hand shakes when I go that direction. I don't know why. And here's a funny one. It's actually quite beautiful. It's got the rutile going every which way. It's almost a smoky colored quartz. But the rutile, some of it's gold, some of it's silver. It's like a free form. And you can just see how beautiful that piece is. Let me zoom back out. And it's got some spots from when they. But you can definitely see the rutile in this one. But it's just lighter because there's not a whole bunch of compact rutile in there. And then you can buy things where they've taken the quartz and fashioned it into a sphere. And boy, those little spheres are everywhere. And I think it's so neat the way when you move it, it kind of looks like a wave that keeps going. <laughs> I love it in the spheres. But tell you what, when you get to the bigger ones, those are more expensive. I was just really lucky to get these beautiful, beautiful pieces. And Mr. Garrett Russell, let me do a shout out to him. He was the one who I got most of my rutile from. He has beautiful, amazing pieces. All sorts. Quality rutile. And here's another sphere. And it's, I asked for more silver. And this is, it's got gold, but it's more of a silvery flash to it. And it's almost like the needles are a little finer. And they just kind of flow when you move it really pretty and this is a sucker for pretty things so you can see how it moves almost like a cat's eye effect but it's just the light hitting the rutile and it looks darker when the light's not hitting it wow look at that concentration there boom it's almost like you cut hair right there <laughs> It's kind of weird, but it's beautiful. And here's a piece that is smoky quartz, and it's got the finest little hairs in there. Finest little hairs. Let me magnify, zoom in. Maybe I zoomed in too far. Yep, I zoomed in too close. But look at those fine little rutile hairs. You can see right through the stone. Look at that they flow. I love the flow patterns, the way they flow sometimes. Looks like wispy. <laughs> like hair would do in the wind. I think my camera is wanting to focus on the things behind what I'm showing. And here I have some teeny tiny ones. A little baby one with all the silver color rutile. These just intrigue me to no end. I love sitting and looking at them, and I love even better looking at them underneath the magnification of my phone.
Here's the more reddish rutile. Boy, are they in there. Ooh, it's like a little forest of rutile in there. They're just everywhere. It's a tiny little piece, though. It's just not as big as my thumbnail. Still beautiful. Some things come in small packages that are wonderful. Look at that forest of rutile. And then, this is my big boy. I'm going to have to zoom out. Oops, not in. Out. <laughs> I'm going to move these on the side because this one is quite big. It's my favorite one. I actually bought it from a gentleman. His name is Varick, Mr. Varick. And he's a cutter and he cuts stones. But he had, I asked about rutilated quartz and he said he had this and he hadn't cut it yet. And I was so, I had no idea what rutilated quartz was like this. I just thought, okay, it's big. Why would you cut it? Well, you know, just like I showed you earlier with the pendant, some people might make jewelry out of it. But look, these are not inside of the quartz. These are on the outside of the quartz. Growing in between the quartz. Is that amazing or what? Look at that. All those pieces are growing between the quartz. Look at that. All that right there is growing between the quartz. You can see it on the back more too. This is a beautiful piece of quartz. And it, uh, maybe I should zoom in a little. And it's all inside. All on the outside. Look at that. That just blew me away to see it on the outside. So did the quartz form over the top of it. Kind of looks like it. It's a beautiful, amazing piece. Look at that termination, that's crazy on that quartz. It's everywhere, look, even on the bottom. Even on the bottom. Yep, that's Rutile. This is what gets me the most though, right there. In the middle where you can see the Rutile growing in between the quartz. Just beautiful. Well, that's my take on rutilated quartz. I think I have one more little piece. And then that's it. Oh, a big old chunky rutile in there. Nice. Nothing like a smoky quartz. Look at that. Just like showing off each one, one by one. It's just shining like glitter things that make you go hmm <laughs> well thank you for joining me that's my name is kathy with rocks fossils and minerals oh my and this was related quartz if you have any comments or questions or anything you might want to see in the future please leave them in the comments i'm always struggling to find out what people would like to see next thank you